Here we go. All right, today's, today's workout will be, you know, kind of a timed workout. Let's just open up our shoulders. Um, keep moving, keep grooving. Go into your other, open up your arms, okay. So, we've got a couple of sets for time and we've got four sets of each circuit. Take your arms open, close. out. Give me three, two, one. Take your arms behind you. Hinge, stretch the arms overhead. Hinge, stretch the arms overhead. Good. Bend the knees. Moral of the story, stay healthy. Stay alert. Stay aware of what's going on in your lives and your body. Oh, Cindy, that's good. I can see you. Long way. Three, two, and one. Put your hands onto your thighs. Open up your legs. Drop your seat down. Sorry if anybody was with me yesterday for your hamstrings. <laughs> Drop your seat and press your right shoulder forward. Press onto the other side. Back to the right side. Back to the left side. And then come to center around your back. Tuck your tailbone. Drop your hands. Drop your hips. Turn your toes forward and straighten your legs. Oh my goodness, hamstrings. Bend the knees, look forward. Straighten the legs. One more time, bend the knees, look forward, but walk your hands a little bit more forward. Sit your hips a little bit more back. And then straighten the uh, left leg, bend the right leg. So you're in a long stance with your arms. And then bend the left leg, right arm, right leg is straight. And let's do that one more time. Right side, left side. And then just rock a little side to side a couple times. Looking forward in three, two, and one. Come back to center, walk your hands in. Heel toe your feet closer together, round your spine to come all the way up to standing, and we're gonna get started. First exercise, one weight. We're gonna shift the weight from hand to hand. So you're gonna come into a squat position wider than your legs, wider than those, wider than your hips. Holding onto the weight with the right hand, you can leave it down and switch come up, or you can just switch as you're coming up. If you leave the weight down, make sure that your hips go down to pick it up, not your back. So in other words, don't pick it up this way, pick it up this way, all right? So bend the knees. We've got 45 seconds of this. We're starting in three, two, I'll do it both ways, one, let's go. So you're gonna squat down, come up, Pick up with the other weight, other hand, or you're going to just switch the weight in the air like this. You choose. Just keep going, whichever way it is, as long as your hamstrings allow. The other hand is going to be free. Again, if you're touching the floor with the weight or putting it to the floor, I'll tell you what, if you have a kettlebell, it's a little bit higher, so it's a little bit easier. I don't want to say easy, but you know, if you need to make it more um, accessible, you do that. 10 seconds. Drive through the hips. Drive through the glutes. Three, two, and one. Put the weight down. Take a rest. That's your first one. We're back at it in a few seconds. So, if you leave it on the floor, pick it up like you're going into the squat. In three, two, go. So, pick it up. Change sides. Leave it down. Do whichever way you want. So I'm, I'm just doing different variations of the theme. As long as you're using your glutes and not your back, I'll be happy. Good. That's it, bro. So you don't even have to go so far down. You can just be here, right? Good. 20 seconds. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, put it down, one. Shake it out. Did I mention there's four sets? <laughs> All right, this is number three. Get ready in three, two, and one. Go. So again. You can pick it up and switch hands when you're coming up, 
or you can leave it down and pick it up from the floor. You choose. a lot, okay? Not just to look good in pants or bathing suits or nothing, but you need them to stand and walk and do all sorts of things. In three, in two, and in one. Okay, I believe that was three. Last one coming up. Yeah, good morning. Happy Friday. Here we go. Last time. Promise. In three, two, one, let's go. So I played with different variations of this. If you're watching me and you're saying, what you doing? I'm just showing you different ways of doing the same thing. A couple of different variations. seconds. Yeah. Five more. Four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. All right, grab some water. First step you've done. Next is the deadlift. One or two weights. <clears throat> So in your deadlift, let's just say it's one weight, you're going to come down. When you come up, you're going to do a hammer curl and press overhead, kind of like the one weight, but make it heavy enough, okay? So it's a deadlift <clears throat> to a hammer, overhead press. We'll start this in 15 seconds, all right? So again, it's a deadlift, don't rush into it, and bring it up. So it's a clean and press. Two weights are fine, <clears throat> one weight if it's heavy. Three, two, go. First set. I know you're going to be counting with me because sometimes I might forget what set we're on. But I know you're not going to let me do more than four. Good. Hinge back. Thumbs up. Soft knees, chest out, hips back. I do that. 15 seconds. Soft knees. Curl, press overhead. Good. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right. 45 seconds of work. 15 seconds to recover or to take a break. All right. But that's over in three. Pick it up. Two. Round two, go. Deadlift, hammer to an overhead press, or clean and press. Down stretch, overhead. Down stretch, overhead. Keep it going, take your time. Now you're halfway. Stretch those hamstrings out today. I see it. Down dog in my future. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right. Take water if you need it. Two down, two to go. All right. Yep. Get it ready. Here we go in three, two, go. 15 seconds off, 45 on. For what we're doing, it's fine. You don't need to really bring your heart rate down so long because it's not going up so high. All right. So technically we're doing four minutes of work. Ten more seconds. Five, 
five, four, three, two, and one. All right, one more set, guys. Moving on. Keep it going. All right, yeah, enjoy the recovery time. Take it. Pick it up your weight. Here we go in three, two, and one. I'll go this way. Hinge, curl up. All right, 25 seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. All right. So we're going to go to um, a single side lunge. Step out to the side. Hips go back. We're going to take the weight from our chest overhead. <clears throat> a couple of options. You can stay down and stay here with the weight. You can go back and forth with the legs, or um, you can hold the weight right at your chest. All right, so keep a, a weight that's doable for you. One heavy weight, medium weight. We're gonna take our left leg to the side. All right, this is the first set. In three, two, go. So here, here, and here. Again, I'm gonna give you options. Here, here, and here. Here, I don't know. You can take it on the way down. I don't particularly care for that. So, again, make it work for you. Sit back into your left glute. Left heel, knee is behind the ankle. 15 seconds. Keep going for five more from here. Five more seconds. Three, two, and rest. Same side. Same side. All right, weights up. Right under your chin. In three, two, same side, go. Step out, press, or you can step out, press when you come up. You choose what you'd like to do. What works best for your body today. Stay with it. Good. Yeah, I don't care if you don't do the lunge and you just do a step out. That's okay. 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Um, yeah, anyway, I have something to do. All right, going on the other side. Other side, push the weight forward. Right leg in three, two, go. Step out right, press. Again, you can go out and press as you're going. You can stay out, press here, or press on your way in. So it would look like this. Right? Get your weight behind your knee, behind you, into your heel. Weight goes behind you. Fifteen seconds. Good, Cindy, with those two weights. Ooh. Five more seconds coming from here. Three, two, and one. One more set, right side, same side. All right, last time with the press out. Weights ready? Three, two, go. One. Good work, guys. Stay with it.
shake up your training a little bit, change it up when you can. Twenty seconds more. Good. Hang in there for ten seconds, guys. All right, in three, two, and one. Let's get down to the floor. Take your weights with you. Take your water with you. Take your body with you. So we're going to start with marching bridges. Up to you if you would like to um, come down in between each set. So your hips come up. You bring the knee into the chest. You can stay up and do the whole time, or you can bring yourself. I just gotta move this over so we can see a little bit. You gotta bring yourself down. All right, we got five seconds. I just need this little smile twist. All right, hips in the air in three, two, go. So again, hips are up in the air. You can have a weight on your pelvis, a weight in the air. You can go down in between marches, right side, left side. Go down. The knee is bent the whole time. And down. Or stay up the whole time. Pull the belly in. Which is the more challenging one for you and which is the more doable challenging one for you today? Keep it moving. 10 seconds. I've just got to move my block so I can see my timer a little bit better. In three, two, and in one, you're down. 15 seconds off. Again, if you want to put a weight on your pelvis or in the air, or not at all, right? Hips ready. In three, two, hips up, go. One, march, stay up with it, which will certainly be more challenging, right? I, I believe it's more challenging. You're staying in an isometric contraction, kind of, sort of. <laughs> or you can come down, release your spine anytime you need to. Arms up will also make it more challenging just because the balance is going to be an issue. 20 seconds. 15, hang in there. Lower your hips if you'd like. Five more seconds. Three, two, Last one, and you can hug your knees to your chest. You can take my all-time favorite spinal twist in between sides, because I always like it after bridging. Come back to the center. Hips ready in three, two, one. Let's go. Draw the knee into the chest. Squeeze your glutes. Stay controlled. Now your hips are going to want to drop. They're going to drop, okay? So keep pushing if you're not going up and down. Keep pushing your hips up in the air to stay off, you know, getting into your lower back. It's kind of moves. 15. Three. Two, rest. You can hug your knees in. Got one more set. Ah, I think, right? Just one more. Feet down on the floor. Hips in the air. Now, go. Press your shoulders down. Particularly if you're staying upright with your hips, right? Use your shoulders to kind of, um, you know, gird you into the, into the mat, into the floor. But again, you can come up and down, all the way down, all the way up. You choose. Fifteen more seconds. Stay there for five. Come on, hang in there. Five, four, three, two, last one. 
and everybody hug your knees to your chest. Cross the right over the left. Twist left. Back to center, cross left over right. Hug the knees in. And twist to the right. All right, come on your backs. Well, get your mat weights. Go ahead and grab a heavy set of weights for flies, chest flies. We're going to do chest flies with leg drops. So the legs are going to come up, arms open, the leg comes down in a drop, a single leg drop. All right, here we go. Pick it up. Uh, you're not ready. Okay, I'm going to give you a few more seconds. Two weights on your back, legs in the air. You got five seconds. Three, two, go. So one leg drop at a time. You can certainly do two legs. What do you What do you mean your body? Especially if you're doing two legs, make sure your back doesn't arch. Belly in, ribs down. Twenty five seconds. Legs can be straight or bent, by the way. What's your body telling you to do? Mine tells me to stay bent. 15 seconds. Pull the belly and ribs down so the back is going to want to arch. We want to keep that arch from the back and keep it more imprinted. Three, two, and one. Rest your arms, rest your legs. Good. See how I'm holding my weights here for a rest, but you can get rid of the weights. Just be careful when you pick up your weights again. I don't like to pick them up from the floor. All right, legs in the air, your choice how. Arms up, three, two, we're on, go. Good. Again, you could do two legs at the same time. You could do bent knees or straight legs. This is choice of you. Fifteen more seconds. Now I hope you have maybe a second set of weights nearby should you want to go into a lighter or heavier set. I expect I'll hear from some of you tomorrow about this one. <laughs> In five, oh, ten seconds. <clears throat> Three. Two, and rest. All right, sit up, stretch your arms behind you. You got a few seconds left if you want to change your weights. This is a good time to change your weights, should you choose to. Back on your back. Three, two, we go. Round three. Two and one. Last set. I think I changed the time on it. You might have missed 15 seconds on one set, guys. So if you want to end it in, you're welcome to it. All right, arms up, legs up. Three, two, go. Don't let the ribs push out. Chest is going to feel these tomorrow, you guys. You can text me anytime you want. Five seconds, four, three, two, don't stop yet, and one. 
Put the weights down. Sit up for a second. Take your arms behind you. Open up and stretch. We're going to go to our knees. So row, you're going to go to your bench standing up. Anybody else need to accommodate their knees? This will be the one. All right. If you would like to put a band around your legs, put it above your knees. If you would like, however, to not put a band around your knees, you're fine. We're going to come up to the side and lift the right fire hydrant. All right, so go to your bench if you need to. You've got five seconds, everybody. Hands on the floor. Knees down. Right leg is the first one. In three, two, go. Fifth, uh, right leg. Now, keep your weight in your arms distributed evenly because the weight in the leg is just on one side. By the way, this is our last full circuit of what we're doing. Keep going. Look forward. Keep your back flat. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Take a little child's pose stretch. Keep your arms forward, hips back. All right, we've got another round on this side. Come to your hands and knees. Three, two, go. Same side. If for any reason you're not on the same side, remember for the next time. Keep it going. Good. All right, look forward. Fifteen seconds. Legs should be having conversation. Three, two, and one. Sit back. All right, here's the good news. You're going the other leg. I was nice today. I broke these things up. All right, but we're going to the other leg in five seconds. So come back to your hands and knees. Right toes tuck under, left leg lifts in three, two, go. So keep your torso forward. Keep your hips level, belly lifted up, 30 seconds. I don't know if you're there, Deb. You okay, T? Keep going. Do your best. I can't see what you're doing over there. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. ET, you good? Okay. I couldn't tell. It doesn't look like you're moving, so I want to make sure you're okay. Five seconds. Last time. Left leg. Three, two, go. Up, down. Keep your weight in both arms even. That's it, good row, you got it. Not a whole lot of movement going on, just the leg. 10 seconds. Come on, stay on it. It's just a little burn, three. Two, one, sit in child's pose. Reach your arms all the way forward, reach your hips all the way back. All right, come onto your back. You don't need any weights. You've got three different exercises. All you really need to do is um, listen to me. <laughs> We're going to start with our legs in a diamond shape. So they don't have to be, heels don't have to be close to your groin. 
They can be uh, further away, which is actually good. We're going to do a crunch here. So just listen for the, for the three exercises. We're going to go from one to the next very quickly. All right, head and shoulders up. <clears throat> and start to crunch right here now. Lift up. Tilt your pelvis. So it's a crunch. Legs on the floor. Feet together. You got 20 seconds, then we're going to bring the legs in the air in the same position. So that's not going to change. Five seconds, legs go in the air. We keep moving. Three, two, legs in the air. Now take elbow to opposite knee. Come through the center. Soles of the feet are together. Twist, twist, twist. So get your feet higher than your knees. Keep your knees over your hips. 10 seconds, we turn this into bicycles with control. Three, two, bicycle. Now you can stop in the center like I'm doing or go side to side as long as you're controlling it. Elbow to the outside of the knee. 15 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Hug your knees to your chest. You want to take a spinal twist, take a spinal twist. You got a few more seconds. We go back on our backs. Soles of the feet together. Hands behind the head. Three, two, crunch. Go. Feet on the floor, soles of the feet together. Knees are open. Just a crunch. Look straight down the center of your body. You can tilt your pelvis, keep your back imprinted. <clears throat> 10 seconds, legs go in the air. No stopping. In three, two, legs up, elbow to opposite knee. Feet are higher than knees. You stop through the center and you control the movement to the outside of the knee. Now remember, your next thing is a bicycle. How you go into it is fine. You go faster, just make sure it's controlled faster, or you can slow it down and go back, stop in the center. In three, two, and one. Legs higher, legs lower, your choice or your back's choice. Slower is going to be a little bit more challenging, guys. Right? It's not momentum, it's muscle action. Three, two, and one. Stretch your legs out, stretch your arms overhead. Oh, this is sure fun, guys. Soles of the feet together on the floor. Hands behind your head. Round three. Here we go, right now. A crunch. Look straight through the center of your legs. Keep your chin in one position. Doesn't need to move. And it's, uh, 15 seconds. Eh, just 10 now. Legs up, elbow to opposite knee. Twenty seconds. I also see a nice cobra in us in our future. We're gonna take this to bicycles in three. In two, and in one. Slow it down. Control it. You can stop in the center, side to side. I like that a lot. I do that often, but I'm just doing a nice controlled 
elbow to arm to knee twist. You got 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Last set, last set. Stretch the arms up. You can create a little arch here if you like. Just get a nice release. Last time, soles of the feet together. You'll miss it. Hands behind your head. Three, two, go. Tilt your pelvis so your pubic bone goes up. Your head stays in one position. The chin doesn't move down and up. You're just lifting your upper part of your body up as much as you can. Ten seconds, legs go in the air, same position with the feet. Three, two, legs up, twist. Alternating elbow to opposite knee, feet are higher than knees. We'll take our last set of bicycles in 10 seconds. Three, two, starts with bicycle. Last time. seconds. Five, three, two, and one. Oh. All right, now for real, open up your arms to a T, shift your hips right, let your knees go to the left side. Nice work, guys. Right arm a little bit higher overhead. A little bit more stretched front shoulder chest. Come through your center, shift your hips left, knees to the right, left arm a little higher, open up. Good. From here, just roll over to your side, come up, and then take yourself onto your hands and knees, tabletop position. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, hips and shoulders width apart, tuck your toes, dip your belly, arch your back. Exhale, round and curl your spine. Inhale, extend your spine. Exhale, round and curl. Now come to neutral, walk your hands a little bit more forward, and just drop your hips down, stretch the front body. Shoulders back. You can rock a little side to side, look over one shoulder than the other. And then push your hips to your heels, child's pose. Stretch your right arm underneath your left arm. Come back to center, stretch your left arm underneath your right arm. Come back to center, stretch your arms all the way out. And then one more time, come forward and drop your hips down, lift your chest up. Push your hands and knees. Sit back on your heels, stretch your arms overhead. If you're gonna be leaving me, stay strong, stay fit, stay healthy. And if you're going to stay for a few more minutes, we're just going to run through a little bit of a flow to get our bodies a little more flexible. So join me on your yoga mat if you're staying. Get some blocks if you have them. And then meet me here. If you're leaving me, you can stay. It's, it's not a crazy pose, the posture. Okay, bye, guys. Bye. take a little bit of time to release our bodies. So let's go get ready and we'll go back into that child's pose extended version.
So open up your gaze as wide as your mouth. I'm just going to change the music that we're listening to. You guys get settled on your mat. And we'll be here for a few minutes. your hips to sink back to your heels. Stretch your arms all the way out in front of you. Extended child's pose. Climb up onto the tips of your fingers. Walk your fingers to the right side. Cross the right arm under the left arm. Bring your torso to the center. Sit up on your heels and grab your shoulders with your hands. Stretch the arms apart. So right arm is underneath, left arm. Lift your chest up, inhale. Exhale, pull the chin to the chest and round your back like a cat cavalier. Inhale, extend your spine, lift your arms, lift your chest. Exhale, round and curl. Inhale, lift your chest, reach your arms up. Exhale, walk forward. Child's pose extended. Rise onto your fingertips and walk over to your left side. Take your left arm underneath your right. Turn your torso back to the center. Inhale, rise up and grab your opposite shoulders. Lift your chest. Exhale, chin to chest, round your back like you got punched in the stomach. Inhale, extend your chest, open up your chest, lift your arms up. Exhale, round and curl. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your arms. Exhale, hands behind you, lift your chest and your hips, stretch forward. Release your hips down, walk your hands forward, come to your hands and knees, but have your arms extended a little further out in front of you. Tuck your toes underneath you, lift the knees up, lift the hips up, bend the right knee lower the left heel. Bend the left knee lower the right heel. Do that again. Come back to your center and stay in a downward facing dog. Biceps by the ears, let your head hang down, shake it out, yes or no. Shift into a high plank top of a push up position. Lower your left knee to the floor, reach your right leg behind you. Move it a little bit to the right side. Lift your right leg in the air, level out your hips. Keep your left hand on the floor, open to your right side. Right arm, right leg in the air. Stretch your right arm over your head. Good, bend your right knee and reach your behind with your right hand, kick the foot into the hand. Open up the chest, shoulders. Breathe in. Hold on to your foot, breathe out. And then take the foot to the front of your mat. Turn your back leg forward, snuggle it behind you. Low lunge if you have hands, or if you have blocks, put your hands on blocks and lift your chest up. Yeah. Drop your hip down. Get a nice release in the psoas. Breathe in, breathe out. And then go ahead and straighten your front leg. Oh my goodness, hamstrings. Toes up or down, pull the right hip back. Walk your hands to the inside of the right leg, but over to the left side of the mat. A little bit longer stretch. Try to hug the hips towards the midline. Walk the hands back in the center. Rebend your front knee, hands on either side. Tuck your back toes underneath you, lift the knee up off the floor. 
and step your right leg back with your hips in the air, downward facing dog. Inhale to a high plank, top of a push up. Exhale, right knee down, left toes behind you. Move the left leg a little bit to the left side so you're more level in your pelvis. Lift the left leg up in the air, point the toe. Keep your right hand down, spin over to your left side, left arm, left leg in the air. Pull the right side of your waistline up. Stretch the arm over your head. Rebend your top leg or bend your top leg. Grab a hold of it with your right left hand. Push your hip forward. And if the balance isn't there today, we work with it. Just keep your hand down, your foot down. If you can hold on to the foot, bring it around to the front. Step it through, snuggle your right leg back behind you. Place your hands on blocks, lift your chest up a little higher. Square your shoulders, square your hips, left big toe presses firmly down. Good. Inhale, straighten your front leg, oh, and fold. Inhale, re-bend your front knee. Take both hands on the inside of your right leg and walk them over to the right corner of your mat or a little even further than that. Hug your left hip in. So you don't want to like drop the knee up. I mean, you can, it's fine. It's just not where we're going. Inhale, return. One hand on either side of the foot. Tuck your back toes underneath you, lift the knee up, stay low. And then step back to downward facing dog, hips up in the air. Lift up onto your toes, inhale. Bend your right knee, lower your left heel, exhale. Inhale onto your toes. Exhale, bend the left knee. Inhale, come back to center, lift up on both toes. Lower your heels, walk your hands to your feet, back of the mat. Interlace your fingers behind your back, look forward, inhale. Exhale, fold over and let your head go. Check it out, yes or no. Good, using the strength of your arms, legs, pull yourself up to standing, take your time. Lift up tall, lower your arms down towards the floor, lift your heart up. Exhale, release the arms, inhale, stretch them overhead. Right arm on the left, hug your shoulders, lift up, rock side to side. Inhale, open the arms and switch the side, cross the arms, left arm under. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, bring your arms behind your back. Interlace the other finger on top. Knuckles down, lift your heart. Exhale, forward fold. Let it go. Inhale, release your hands to the floor. Look forward. Walk your hands out to a downward facing dog. Feet together, back of the mat. Inhale, float your right leg high. Chest to the thighs. Bend your left knee and drop your chest towards your thigh. Exhale, bend your right knee, your chest come to plank and step your right foot through between your two hands. Turn your back foot on its side to about 10 o'clock. Take your blocks on any height and straighten your front leg. Pull the right hip back, left hip forward. So your back toes are not facing the left side, they're facing, like again, a clock at your front, say 10 o'clock. Good. Have a block on the outside of your right shin. Take your left hand to your, let's move the right foot a little bit more to the center if it's not. So it's cutting off the center of your back foot as well. Left hand to your hip as you open to the left side. Stack your shoulders. First work on it with your hand on your hip. The block is outside of your calf if you're using a block. Or your hand is higher up on your thigh. Left arm comes up in the air. Triangle pose. Firm up your legs, lift the knees up. Nice and windy there, E.T. Look down, press down, rise up, reverse it. Left arm down, right arm up. 
Bump your left hip to your right hip. Inhale, stand up, shoulders open, arms over the feet. So your arms should be as long as your feet are wide. Keep the front leg straight, bump the hips to the back of the room, stretch your torso forward, and replace your hand on the foot, shin, block, or toes. Or floor. Don't compromise the lifting of the waist to get your hand to the floor. So more important that you have the hips open, right hip pulls to the left side, left shoulder on top of the right shoulder. Press down, inhale, rise up, reverse again. Right arm up. Exhale, bend your front knee, take a block with you or not, walk your right hand forward, and float your left leg off the floor. The same pose, only one leg is off the floor. Rotate the torso, take your time. Left arm comes up. Eye gaze maybe goes up. Maybe it goes down, maybe it goes to the side. Maybe even your right hand comes off the floor. Play with it. Play with it. Okay, I can't see either one of you. That's cool. <laughs> Take another breath. Take your left hand down. Bend your right knee and step your left leg back, low lunge. Step your right leg back, down the dog. Inhale on your toes, lift your left leg high and bend your right knee, chest to the thighs. Exhale, knee through the center, step it through, low lunge. Turn your back foot to two o'clock on the clock now. Left hand grabs the block outside the left shin. Begin to straighten your left leg. Bring your right hand to your hip. Let's bring the left leg a little bit more to the midline if it's not, middle of your mat. Rotate your torso up and open. And then perhaps the right arm goes up in the air. Firm up your legs. Particularly think about the left big toe pressing down. Inhale, exhale. Look down. Inhale, rise up, reverse. Right hip moves to the left. Inhale, come back up to standing. Arms up, shoulder height, hands over feet. Bump your hips to the back of the room, reach your torso forward. Exhale, place your hand on the block, the shin, the foot, the toe, the floor. But again, don't compromise. You want that lift in the left side body. The rotation of the torso, the hips pulling underneath you. Energize the arms. Good. One more time, we reverse this. From the reverse, we just bend the left knee, reach out with the hand on the floor of the block, right hand moves to the hip, right leg lifts in the air. Stack your shoulders open. Perhaps you stay there, perhaps the arm comes up. Perhaps the eye gaze goes up. Breathe. Perhaps the bottom arm comes up and we balance. Even more. One more breath. Right hand down, square your hips. Step back, low lunge. Downward facing dog, hips up in the air. Inhale, hinge forward to a high plank, top of a push up. Like we did a moment ago in our fitness, keep your arms straight, drop your hips low. Bend your knees to the floor, push your hips to your heels. Inhale, rise onto your knees, toes tuck under. One more time, lift your hips in the air. Exhale, right leg in the air, inhale. Right leg steps through, exhale. Turn your left foot on its side. Right hand has a block outside the right leg. Straighten your front leg, reach up, open up. Exhale, look down. Inhale, rise up, reverse. Exhale, reach out and find your triangle from a different position. Maybe a little bit more space in the body. Triangle pose. Good, inhale, reverse the triangle. 
Exhale, bend your front knee, reach your arms forward. Now we're in half moon. Left leg up, left arm up. The option to take the left hand and foot together like we did on the floor is there for you. Oops. If you're holding the foot, let it go gently. Left arm down, hips square. Bend the front knee, step back to a low lunge. And step back to a downward dog, hips up in the air. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, bring the knee to the center, step the leg through. Get the foot in the middle of the mat now, so the heel and the instep match. Take your block on the outside of the left foot, straighten the left leg, right arm comes up in the air, triangle pose. From the ground up, going to be a little different. Look down. Inhale, reverse, come up, left arm up. Exhale, reach out, come back, find the triangle. Find the triangle from standing, giving you more space perhaps in your torso. Look down, inhale, reverse. Exhale, bend the front knee and reach in front of it. Take your hand on the floor of the block, float your right leg up in the air. Right arm comes with you. Stay there or bend your top leg and grab a hold of it. Option, you never have to do any of this. Stay for three, two, one, release softly. Exhale, hand down, front knee bends, step back to a low lunge, and then downward facing dog, inhale. Shift forward to plank. Exhale, bend your elbows or keep your knees down or keep your arms straight, lift your chest up. Downward facing dog, hips up. Bring your knees to the floor. Move your legs over to one side. Keep them up, let's bring them over to the left side. Let's keep them in a mermaid position. Stack your knees, stack your ankles. Lift your chest up, turn yourself to the left side. I know, Cindy, it looks like you're suspended in air. It's so funny. And I don't know if you can even hear me. Take, oh, you're on something. It's, it's, it's hard. It, everything's blurred, so it looks like you're just hanging out in the air. Look over to the left side. Good. Return over to your right side. Come back to center. Take your left leg and bring it on the outside of your right leg. Move your right foot out from underneath your buttocks, left hand behind you, inhale, stretch your right arm up. Hug, twist, or bind your arm outside the left thigh, you choose. Inhale, twist, exhale. Inhale, look to your right side. Exhale, release to your right side. Twist up. And then come back to center, lean back, uncross your legs, shake out your legs, and then bend the knees and take them over to the right side, stack your knees, stack your ankles. Hold on and lift your chest up. Take a nice spinal twist here, nice, comfortable, released. And then reverse it. Inhale, return to center. Take your right leg on the outside of the left leg. You can always straighten the bottom leg. Inhale, stretch your left arm up, right arm behind you. Exhale, twist, hug, or bind. Half or full bind, you choose. Again, lift your torso. Inhale, switch and stretch and twist. And then come back to center, re reboot. And then now come back to center. Lean back, shake out your legs. Let your legs stretch out in front of you. Adjust your flesh from underneath the sitting bones. Hands down by your knees, lift your chest up, staff pose, inhale. Hinge, walk your fingers forward, like the yellow pages. Let your fingers do the walking. Keep your chest up. Keep looking forward beyond your toes. Pull your shoulders back, collarbones broad. Mm. 
Inhale, lift your chest. Now release your arms and reach them forward. I'm going to turn this way for a second. So you're here in a forward position, arms up. Now pull your belly into your spine, round your back. And then articulate your way down, one vertebrae at a time. One vertebrae at a time. Take your time getting down. When you get there, hug your right knee into your chest. Take your left hand and guide your right leg across your body. If you have the space, extend your right leg out. On your back, bring your right knee to your chest. Stretch your right leg in the air. Uh, you can bend your left knee if you'd like. Flex point, roll the ankle. Draw the leg closer to your chest. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Release your hands and lower your right leg to the floor as you exhale. Inhale, bring your left knee to your chest. Exhale, take your right hand and guide the leg across your body. Twist. Inhale, return to your back. I'm sorry, I didn't stretch the leg out. Stretch the leg out. Then bend your knee, come back on your back. Exhale, stretch your leg straight in the air. Flex point, roll the ankle. Bend your left knee to your chest. Bring both knees to your chest. Hug your knees close to your chest. And then release your legs in the air. Bring your hands right by the side or underneath your hips. Tailbone on the floor. Flex point. Roll the ankles. Start to lower your legs and lengthen your legs at the same time, belly and hips down. When the legs do finally touch the floor, you roll up onto your forearms, lift your head chest, and you rest gently on the top of your head or not at all. Any options that you do in this pose are welcome. To come out of it, you lift your head, bring your chin to your chest and you roll down. Hug your knees one more time to the chest. Take your left spinal twist over to the left side. Back to center to the other side. And come back onto your back. Lower your legs out, lower your arms by your side. Let your hips splay open, breathe in. Empty the breath, let go. Start to let your body surrender. Get rid of any physical, mental tension. And just let the body melt into the earth energy. Stay if you can stay, turn off the sound. Begin to deepen your breath if you need to get up, come back and bring your awareness back into the space, hug your knees to your chest. Make your way into one side, come back. 
back up to a comfortable seat. Bring your hands together at your heart center. Bow down in gratitude to yourselves. And then bow down to each other to the light we find within each one of us. Namaste, sat down, go in peace. And for those of you at home, stay strong, stay good, stay healthy. One more time.